Hello, this is Pablo from Prescient. And in this video, I want to highlight a really cool dashboard widget, which opens the possibilities of what you can do in terms of visualization, data visualization in the dashboard. And that is the node red node UI Vega or Vega. What is this widget? Well, it's essentially a wrapper around the super excellent JavaScript library <clears throat> called Vega and Vega Lite. Uh, you can see here some of the data visualization that you can do with Vega and Vega Lite. Uh, in terms of complexity, Vega Lite is built on Vega and Vega is built on top of Altair. Uh, and what all of these are, are um, ways to declaratively describe the visualization that you want to do. I mean, by declarative, uh, I mean, you don't specify the pixels, you specify properties and features of the graph, and then the library does the heavy lifting. Uh, you can see in the examples, um, <clears throat> many, many types of visualizations um, and they're <clears throat> all over the place. And you can even combine different types of visualization in the same area. It's absolutely superb and powerful. And it also has um, an online editor. So you can debug uh, the visualization and then transfer it to to the uh, no red or prescient uh, dashboard uh, widget. As you can see, the, uh, the visualization is described uh, by a JSON object. And uh, I won't lie, it takes just a little bit to get used to how to define the graphs, but once you do, then you can do anything in the, uh, in the uh, node red or the pressing dashboard. Uh, the example I have prepared today is um, a little heat map. So on the Vega widget, um, you can um, put the, the JSON specification of, of the visualization here uh, in this space in the editor. Uh, I personally prefer to do it separately. Um, so. Uh, I have this uh, function node, which is Vega schema. Of course, you can load this from a file, or all sorts of things. But I have this little uh, schema to define a uh, a heat map, a 10 by 10 heat map, where I'm going to generate data randomly, um, an X and Y location randomly, and I'm just going to increase the count on that um, square. Um, every time there's a, there's a uh, value within that square. Um, and you can see here that um, this function receives a message and the message of payload is gonna be the, the data that I'm gonna visualize. Uh, I prefer to put the, the uh, specification of visualization in this function node uh, because you can edit separately, you can uh, copy and paste it from the um, from the online Vega editor once you have debugged it. Uh, it's just more flexible. Uh, and as I said, you can even load this up from uh, from a file and, and then just change the, uh, or update the, the data values that you want. Uh, so um, here's where I'm just, for this particular example, I'm computing data randomly X and Y location and increase it by one. And then the way you, uh, in this particular case, the the heat map, uh, the Vega heat map, uh, takes the data is is an array of objects. Uh, in this case, each object has an x and y property, and a count property. And a count property is just <clears throat> the value that's going to be the uh, the color in the heat map. Of course, this data can come from anywhere. It is uh, just a, um, a mock example for uh, for the purposes of this uh, demonstration. Um, so, uh, a point here is that you can, uh, this widget supports both Vega and Vega Lite, 
uh, you would just put the, uh, which one you want here and the version uh, here. This is straight out of the, uh, the uh, Vega Lite documentation, um, this URL. And as I said, you, you could, the data values are updated dynamically every time uh, this function now gets a message. And then this specification is uh, passed to the Vega widget to uh, display the data. Uh, so at, at startup, uh, I clear the, the heat map data and then this uh, inject node is, is producing a, uh, a sample every uh, um, 25 seconds, uh, sorry, every quarter uh, of a second. So if we go to the dashboard, you'll see that the uh, there's a 10 by 10 grid and it's uh, constantly updating. There's, there's a heat map. We can see the, the, the count here. Uh, the, this purplish color is lowest count. Um, if, if a square has a, this kind of color has around five, um, a count of five in that particular area, whereas the highest has um, a value of 40. And the, these are updated in real time. And pretty much anything in this plot is configurable. Uh, Vega and Vega Lite have very sensible defaults, but you can configure everything from how to display this, where to display it, colors, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, if you could just go to the uh, uh, to Vega and Vega Lite gallery, you'll see all the different types of graph that you can do. And all of that is available thanks to the authors of uh, this uh, node, uh, dashboard widget node. All of that is available uh, for you to to avail yourself of uh, in the dashboard. So this is quite powerful. I just wanted to highlight it because I think it's great, and I think it uh, allows for uh, present designer users and Node-RED users to have access to uh, just first-class uh, data visualization. Hope it helps. Thank you.